Hi, have you ever wondered whether you can find the joy of mathematics in a vegetable? Let's find out. If you ask me what is the most beautiful vegetable in the world, my answer would be the Romanesco broccoli. Also known as the Roman cauliflower, it has the general shape of a cone and on each cone there are more and more smaller cones looking exactly like the larger. It exhibits what is called self-similarity which is a distinguishing feature of fractals. You see such geometry in trees too. The branches, the twigs attached to the tree trunk bear self-similarity. The veins on the leaf, lightning and even the bronchi of the lungs show fractal geometry. It is impossible to describe these objects occurring in nature using Euclidean geometry by means of rectangles or cuboids, but fractal geometry can exactly describe these objects. Benoit Mandelbrot in his book The Fractal Geometry of Nature helped introduce this concept. He also introduced something called Mandelbrot set, a set of complex numbers in a sequence that does not approach infinity. It can be explained with the equation Zn plus 1 is equal to Zn square plus C, where C and Z are complex numbers and n is 0 or positive integer. Okay, do fractals have dimensions? Just like we have statues that are three-dimensional, fractals also have dimensions, but they include decimals. One-dimensional fractals range from 0 0.1 to 0 0.9. Two-dimension fractals like coastline range from 1.1 to 1.9 and so on. Some art forms also include fractals. In 1999, Richard Taylor and his research team published scientific analysis showing that Jackson Pollock's art is fractal in nature. Today, fractals have entered a new era. Fractal analysis is being used in oil industry for spillage prevention. Fractal shapes are being used to design mobile antennas that are smaller in size, having less weight and operating in multiple frequency bands and also being broadband. In what objects do you see fractal geometry being displayed? Kindly comment below. Thank you for watching.